Hey Doxology, I have a really exciting update and some really important information as well for you about Fort Worth for Good. If you're new to Doxology wondering what Fort Worth for Good is, two years ago we spent several weeks talking about some specific pieces of a long-term vision to be a force for good with a capital G in Fort Worth. You can still go back and hear all of that online at fwfg.org. The two big practical pieces of that were the launch of a congregation and alliance so that we've got a third launching point for Christ-centered people who show and tell who Jesus is and what he's like in every neighborhood in Fort Worth. The other piece of that was to make a huge investment in a school near our Southwest congregation where teachers and administrators were struggling with literacy levels that were dangerously low, particularly coming out of the pandemic. So we literally doubled down our mentoring efforts there to connect every student who needed a boost with a volunteer from our church who would invest an hour a week in them. We also brought a full-time reading interventionist, Marisol Martin, on the Doxology staff team to give 100% of her work hours as a volunteer member of the staff team at South Hills. We've given you updates along the way, but it's worth saying again, both of those initiatives are doing exactly what we prayed they would do. One of our volunteers was recently in a meeting at South Hills where they talked about some of their testing related to other similar schools. And the return on the investment that you've made at South Hills is measurable and significant. We're seeing students move from multiple grade levels behind to reading at, and in some cases, even above grade level. You've also heard stories about direct and indirect spiritual fruit. We always honor boundaries that are put in place by the school district when it comes to conversations about faith with public school kids. But parents and teachers who see a church go all in for the flourishing of students that they love but we'd never met, almost can't help but invite a question. All three of those congregations are currently growing and thriving. Alliance, the congregation we planted in North Fort Worth two years ago, has already tripled its core group size and is growing primarily through people who aren't just transferring from another church. That's a really big deal. Obviously, initiatives like that aren't free. And over the past 24 months, you've answered the call there as well, investing nearly $2 million over and above your normal giving in a ministry fund at Doxology to make those things possible. So on behalf of the kids at South Hills and neighbors in Alliance and English and Spanish speaking neighbors in Southwest Fort Worth, thank you. Let me give you a couple of pieces of information, one of them new on this side of that investment period. One of them we've mentioned before, we still have right at $1.8 million in debt on the building here at Southwest. Our elders have always been willing to leverage a really conservative amount of debt to accomplish immediate goals. And this is an example of that. We're able to make that payment and even pay extra on the principal every month. But because of the type of loan that is, we'll need to refinance it in the next year. We're not in any kind of financial trouble, even if we refinance, but money isn't as cheap as it used to be. And rather than paying more interest, we'd rather invest that money in future congregations and other initiatives like what we're doing at South Hills. So the invitation there is, if you pray about that and agree with our elders on that priority, and have the capacity to help us pay that off in a large or small way, we'd humbly ask you to consider making a one-time or recurring gift to that Fort Worth for Good initiative to help us do that. The second piece of information that's new, we just learned it a few weeks ago, is that Northwest ISD, which currently hosts our Alliance congregation, is wanting to get out of the building rental business. They've been great partners and have given us plenty of notice, but in the next 12 to 18 months, we think we'll need to move that Alliance congregation to a new space. As you can imagine, many of the things that make Alliance such a strategic place for a new congregation also make this a unique challenge for us. There are not a lot of struggling businesses or vacant storefronts for sale or rent, and land to build isn't cheap because everyone wants to live and do business there. So we've got some really brilliant people working on that with us, helping our elders and staff team think through plans, both for a permanent facility for Alliance someday, as well as solutions for shorter term or medium term space in the next year. But those are complicated, multi-layered nuts to crack. So we're asking for your prayers in that. I just really believe that God is gonna provide for us and we wanna be faithful and wise towards that. The other thing that we believe is that some of you may be positioned to be a big part of that with or without knowing it. You either have something or know someone inside that I-35, 287, 114 corridor that could be part of either a long-term or a short-term solution. You may have a personal relationship or contacts at a business with auditorium space or a charter school, childcare facility, 
an industrial type building that could be available for sale or lease with favorable terms for a church. It would need to be between nine and 12,000 square feet with plumbing and HVAC and plenty of parking inside that triangle. Maybe even a land developer who might be looking for a tax write-off by carving out nine or 10 acres for a ministry that's committed to the flourishing of our city. We're exploring all of those options right now because all three of our congregations are completely committed to seeing all three of those congregations succeed. And we wanna make sure that they're set up to flourish and remain sustainable long into the future. We're working on it and eager to see what the Lord's gonna do and also wanted to get it in front of you as soon as we became aware of that wrinkle in case part of what he may wanna do involves you. If you think it might, I or our elders would love to hear from you. Again, thank you for your prayers, involvement, and your past and future investments in what God is doing at Doxology and through Doxology all over Fort Worth. I can't wait to tell you how he answers even more of our prayers in the near future.